Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. And right now I invite you just to close your eyes and just take a deep breath. And just relax. Take another deep cleansing breath and just relax even more as you just open your heart to the living, loving, unlimited spirit and presence of God. Another deep breath. And I invite you just to relax fully and completely and give God your undivided attention. Let's turn away from the outer world, turn away from any struggles or concerns. Just let it all go and just allow yourself to feel the peaceful, loving presence of God, that all-providing presence that is always seeking to express more good, more love, more joy, more abundance, more peace, more compassion and understanding into our lives. And so whatever it is that you're holding on to, just let it go and give it to God. For surrendering is one of the most powerful spiritual practices we can engage in. Surrendering is not about giving up, it's about giving way to something greater and better and allowing the living, loving Spirit of God to lead us and guide us to heal us and uplift us. That Spirit is always inviting us to go deeper and to know that whatever it is we think we are seeking solutions for in our lives, when we pray, what's really going on is our souls are looking to connect with the very source from which we came. All prayer is a yearning and a deep desire to know ourselves as the amazing spiritual beings that we are. To know God in God's wholeness and fullness. To connect with our divine nature. For in the presence of God is the fullness of life. The more we bring our hearts and minds fully and immerse our minds in the mind of God, the more open and free and full our lives are. The more we can rise above and handle whatever is before us with ease and grace when we go to that higher level. It is called the secret place of the Most High. That place where you know where you are one with God. For it is a place of peace and stillness. It is a place of beauty and serenity. Jesus said, seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. So just know the most important and the most powerful thing you could ever do is to seek God with all your heart. Not to seek things, but to seek the very source and spirit out of which all things are made possible. That spirit that is the source of every breath we take, every beat of our heart, that is the creator of the sun and the stars, and it is the power that has created each and every one of us in its image and likeness. You are an amazing divine being. You are an expression of God. So everyone, just take a deep breath and open yourself to the fullness and allness of God and to the fullness of the amazing expression of God and child of God that you are. For you are here to do amazing and wondrous things. You are here to be blessed and you are here to be a blessing. So I invite you just to connect with that light of God that is within you and let that light within you expand to fill your entire physical being and to even shine and radiate beyond your physical presence. For there is a light that shines in you that no darkness could ever overcome. So let us sit in the silence for a few minutes 
And just let God be God in you. Seek God with all your heart. As it says in Jeremiah, if you seek me, you will find me. If you seek me with all your heart. So let God be God in you, in the silence. Peace. Be still. Now let us turn our thoughts and prayers to our loved ones. If you have anyone in your life in need of healing or guidance or prayer, just bring them into your heart right now and see them encircled in the healing, loving light of God. And from your heart space, just send them blessings of peace and love. And send them the highest prayer we could ever pray, and that is God's will be done for them. For God's will for us is the highest and best and greater than anything we could even conceive for ourselves. Thy will be done in their lives. Thy will be done in our lives. Thy will be done in our world. And so we give thanks for this time to connect and commune in a more conscious level with that living spirit of God. And we just give thanks in advance for all the wonderful and great things we know that are still to come. And we pray and affirm all this through the name and the power of the living Christ Spirit. And so it is. Amen.